In tonight's feature interview, we hand things over to Katie Kelly, who had an exclusive opportunity to speak with Anne Murray as the multi-Grammy award winner celebrates her 35th anniversary of her Anne Murray Center in her hometown of Spring Hill. On Saturday, she hosted a meet and greet for over 150 of her loyal fans. An honor to meet you. Thank you. You look lovely today. Thank you very much. Watching you come around that corner and seeing everyone's excitement. I know you've been doing that for 35 years. Yes. Is it still exciting for you to see their excitement to you? Well, sometimes I wonder, I, you know, I, it's been so long since I've performed that I sometimes forget that I did. And I have to be reminded, and these people um, remind me. But they're all great people. They come from everywhere, all over the place. And uh, it's just nice to see them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Many of them are like, have been here uh, close to every year, so. Yeah, it's incredible. I've met some people that, yeah, that have been here every yeah. single year, which is wild. And when you think back to that first year, 35 years ago, what, what do you remember about the opening? What comes to mind about well, that? Well, it was very chaotic, I know that, but uh, it was a lot of fanfare. And you had Mounties in, in uniform, we had parades and all kinds of things. It was a big day for everybody. And um, it was very exciting. And my, my kids were there too, so they were old enough to kind of appreciate it, although they were shaking their heads. Well, it was so exciting to see you at the Junos. A yes. few months ago, yeah. um, do you? Is it fun for you to kind of? Because I know you're you're pretty private these days. But is it fun to kind of have those little moments once in a while? Well, I I probably had it been anywhere else but Halifax, I probably would have uh, turned him down, turned the invitation down. But you know that was only ten minutes from my house, so um, and it was kind of fun. I didn't know very many of the performers or anything. Uh, was a long time. I mean, I've been re I've been retired for 15 years. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of fun, and and it surprised me. The uh, actually the the uh, entrance and everybody standing, and I just went, oh, <laughs> what's the fuss? <laughs> You're but, Anne Murray, yeah, you know. <laughs> but I just you know it was it was wonderful. Um, how I was received, you know. Mm -hmm. You've collaborated with pretty much everybody, but you have been retired for 15 years. Yes. Are there any Canadian artists that if you were, you know, going to get back into it today that you would have on the top of your list to collaborate with? I did the duets album and I sang with uh, Katie Lang. I sang um, Sh with Shania. I sang with Celine Dion. I, I sang with, you know, all of those people. So I, I think you did it. I've, I've done it. Uh, and that's the way I think about my whole career. I, I, I've done it and, uh, and I've moved on to another chapter in my life. So what is a day in the life of Anne Murray like these days? Well, um, I stay fit for one thing. I, uh, I either swim or I work out. I have a trainer twice a week. Um, I play golf. Um, it takes when you get to be my age, it takes a lot to keep you upright, so you have to keep moving. Yeah. So I do lots of that. Yeah, I hear a lot of people associate you with golf. Yes. How is your swing? Pretty I, good. No, it's pretty bad now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't play nearly as well as I used to, but uh, that's to be expected too. Well, you seem like you're in fabulous shape. Yeah, in pretty you good seem, shape. Yes, yeah. you seem fabulous. You mentioned Celine. Did you catch her at the Olympics? Oh, uh, it was mind-boggling how great she was and it was so moving to see her after all she's been through to see her come through like that and perform well beyond my expectations um, it might just have been the greatest performance that I've ever seen in my lifetime mm -hmm. with all to. things considered yeah I would have to agree it yeah. was very touching it was wonderful and finally Anne, 35 years after they've opened this this center here we are what does this whole thing mean to you and how are you feeling today because the, like you mentioned there's people that have been coming for 35 years and you have retired for 15 years yeah. but you are beloved yes uh, and and I appreciate that it's really nice to have this one day a year where uh, 
you know, people kind of, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but uh, when we opened this place, it was really to give back to the town, which has had, you know, it's hard luck town over the years, and uh, that's what it was. It was all about, uh, I grew up here, I loved growing up here, and uh, so that was my idea, and it's still going, 35 years, so. It's amazing. Yeah. You, you, you are such a proud Maritimer. What does the Maritimes mean to you, Anne? Well, it's home. Um, I always dreamed of going home one day and uh, wanted to make it happen. So here I am, and this is where I'll stay. Can I give you a hug? Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.